Okay, we're going to find the solution region for this system of inequalities. And whenever we are solving a system of inequalities, it's always done by graphing because the solution is going to be a region. So let's go ahead and do the first run right here. And I'll do this in white. We have 5x plus 5y, and this is greater than or equal to 5, right? So we'll have to get the y by itself first, so that way it will be easier for us to graph. That's minus 5x on both sides. And you see, we are just subtracting the 5x. Therefore, we don't need to switch the inequality symbol. We are not multiplying, we are not dividing a negative number. So this stays the same. We will have 5y is greater than or equal to, this is negative 5x and plus 5. And then, this is 5 times y, so we are going to divide it by 5. And this is just a positive 5 that we're dividing. So we don't need to switch the inequality symbol neither. Divide everything by 5, and you see that the y will be by itself. This is still greater than or equal to negative 5x divided by 5, that's negative x. 5 over 5 is plus 1, just like this. And with that being done, we are ready to graph, right? So let me do it right here for you guys. So let's see, you have 1, 2, 3. Hopefully that should be enough. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Begin with the b value. b is equal to positive 1. That means go on to the y-axis and put down a point. And then look at the slope, which is the number in front of the x. We have negative x. That means we have negative 1. Let's look at the slope as a fraction. So we have this as negative 1 over 1. And this will tell us to go down one time, to move to the right one time, right? So from here, go down one time, move to the right one time. This is the second point that we have. Okay, then we refer back to the inequality symbol. This is a greater than or equal to. Therefore, we will use the solid line, the regular line. I will just connect the dots regularly, which is going to be like this, a solid line, right? And this is the first line that we have, but this is an inequality, so we have to talk about a region. And whenever we have y, it's being greater than, this is a greater than or equal to, but it's a greater than. We are going to shade upward, and this is what I mean by that. Imagine you are painting your house, and this is your brush. What you are going to do is put a brush on the line, and you are going to go up like this, right? So that's the idea, and I will just do like this, it's easier. This is the region that we are talking about from this inequality, okay? Once again, whenever you have the y being isolated, if this is a greater than symbol, right? It has a greater than symbol, that means we shade up. All right, let's do the second one, and we'll do that in blue. Let's look at this. x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 1. Same business, get the y by itself first. That's minus x, minus x, cancel, cancel. And we see this is negative 2y. We just subtract the x. We don't have to switch the inequality. So still greater than or equal to. And then this is negative x plus 1. What's next? This right here is a negative 2 times y. So we are going to divide it by negative 2. So they will cancel. And we have to make sure divide everything by negative 2. We will get the y by itself. That's nice. However, we divide everything by negative 2. We are going to take this inequality and switch it to a less than or equal to. Okay. So remember, whenever we divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to switch the inequality symbol. Next, this is negative x over negative 2. Let me put that down as a positive 1 half, right? This is like 1 over 2. Negative negative becomes positive. And let's put down the x on the side. And you see, this is positive 1 over negative 2. That means we have negative 1 half. And we are going to begin right here. This is b equals to negative 1 half. That means on the y-axis, you go to negative 1 half. 
from here to here is negative 1, right? Negative 1 half is right here in the middle. Next, we see the slope is partly 1 half. And this will tell us, the 1 tell us to go up one time. But be sure, when you go from here to here, it's only half. You have to make sure you go up one time. So you go up from here to here. This is the 1 unit. And then you move to the right twice. So from here, we go to the right one time, two time, so it's like that, right here. So once again, from here to here, it's like this, and then once, twice, okay, one unit, and then one unit up and two units to the right. This is also an equal sign, so solid line. So let's connect the dots right here. Let me connect the dots right here, so it should be something like this. Right, this is the blue part, and refer back to the last inequality when you have the y being isolated. This is y being less than, right, it has a less than situation, less than or equal to, right? That means we are going to shade it down. From here, you can imagine I'm using my brush to paint the house, and just shade it down. And I'm just going to do, do like this. All right, at the end, as you can see, where is the overlapping part? It's this, isn't it? And I'm just going to make it really stand out. I'll put this down in red. So you see this and that. This right here is the solution region. Okay, solution region right here. So you can make it a little bit more stand out like this. This part, and we are done.